Intraday highs reached across the board. The Dow finishing up 76 points to close at 26,860. The S&P 500 up 13 points to end at 2,993. It had touched 3,000 for the first time ever. And the Nasdaq up 60 points. That's a new record high at 8,202. Market analysis now from Todd Peters. He's with Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Joining us from the newsroom. Hi, Todd. Hi, Brian. So was it all about what uh, Jerome Powell had to say today that was moving the markets? Oh, it absolutely was. There were no major economic reports today. Earnings season really doesn't kick off in earnest until next week. So all investors' eyes were focused on uh, Fed Chairman Powell. And his comments were interpreted as dovish, meaning favoring looser monetary policy. And he, as you mentioned, he specifically said the uncertainties around trade tension, weakening global growth, are tilting the risk to the downside. So the consensus is in three weeks we'll see very likely a quarter uh, point rate cut. The markets liked it. We were up about four tenths of a percent today. All right. The talk around this is that it's an insurance cut, a move similar to what they did in 1995, a preemptive strike, if you will. Is that fair? Yeah, there absolutely are some similarities. Probably the biggest difference, Brian, is back in 1995, the federal funds rate was 6 percent. Today it's between two and a quarter and two and a half. Um, so the Fed has less room for error here when rates are already low. And the Fed does want to maintain some ammunition, if you will, if a true global crisis does emerge at some point in the future. All right, let's talk about Lady Gaga, because who doesn't want to talk about Lady Gaga? And Amazon, two big stars. They're getting together to do some commerce, her own cosmetics line only on Amazon. What are some of the details in this? Yeah, so fresh off her success in A Star is Born, she's launching this beauty uh, brand called House Laboratories. And uh, Amazon is going to be the exclusive distributor. Uh, global cosmetic sales, beauty sales, uh, topping $500 billion this year, expected to be about $860 billion by 2024. So some really potential opportunity here. Other celebrities from J-Lo to Kim Kardashian have done well promoting their own brand. So I think it makes sense for Lady Gaga to see if her success in the film and music uh, industry carries over to the cosmetic world. Hey, if only her fans buy her stuff, that's millions of people. It is. All right, let's uh, talk about Amazon. Also, they're disrupting the cosmetic industry as we see. But now Alexa getting into health care. Is that really what's going on here? It looks that way. Uh, Amazon announced a partnership with the UK's National Health Care Service to provide basic health healthcare advice through their digital assistant, which we know, of course, as Alexa. So if I'm suffering from, let's say, a migraine, I can just say, Alexa, what do I do to uh, treat this migraine? And, um, you know, particularly for the elderly and perhaps even the blind, I think this is a, an interesting tool um, if you can't easily ac access the Internet. It'd be interesting to see if it catches on world worldwide. Todd Peters, Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks, Todd. Thank you, Brian.